God, that's what happened. Well, it's one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, five o'clock, we're gonna rock.
this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the members of the 4th of July Committee with whom I have the privilege of serving. Tony Barletta. Lou Samaglia. Ed Coughlin. Diana DiGregorio. Mike DiGregorio. Mike Donovan. Craig Frizzle. Dave Hall. Joan Maga. Rachel Ottinger. Peg Power. Dick Searfoss. Joan Searfoss. For the past several months, the members of the committee have dedicated countless hours to planning a celebration that has differed in many respects from the celebrations of the past 33 years. The challenges faced in organizing this year's events have been many, but throughout, the committee and the community have benefited from the graciousness, hard work, and generosity of the Aleppo Shriners and the Shriners Auditorium management and staff. In a year of many changes for this celebration, the committee and this community maintain one constant, the dedication of this celebration to those who make it possible for us to enjoy the concerts, the carnival, the pie contest, the road race, family day events, and all that this celebration brings. Our veterans and current members of the armed forces who have stood up and continue to stand up for what we hold dear. Freedom, equality, and fundamental human rights that were the foundation upon which our country was established and which remain precious to us as a people. As a community and as a nation, we share common ideals which form the basis of how we live our lives and how we conduct ourselves. It is the men and women of the armed forces, both past and present, who have made the decision to stand at the fore in the promotion and defense of those common ideals, and it is to them that we extend our gratitude and dedicate this celebration.